Good morning, good morning. Match, 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 match. I hope we all had a good night's sleep. Oh, yes. And today we are driving out of Accra a little bit. Uh, we're going to a town called Ningo Pram Pram. Like I said before, the Greater Accra region is made up of multi ethnic groups or sub tribes. So, yesterday we were in the Gan areas. And today we are going to Ningo Pram Pram or Ezali Pram Pram. Pram Pram is also uh, the major economic activity for the people of Pram Pram is fishing. So it's a fishing community. Okay. And it also has a fort which you can see because it's a ruin known as Fort Venom and built in 17. 1742 that it was built but was abandoned when it fell so along the coastline like i said before we have a lot of forts and castles uh, dotted along the coast of ghana due to our rocky nature of our sea and uh, so the people of pram pram do not speak the same language like the people of accra they have their own distinctive dialect, but it's just similar to the people of Accra. So that area is Ningo Prapra. So that's why we're going this morning. We're going to use the motorway, and the motorway is by far uh, one of the best roads within the city, built by Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, and open for traffic in the 63. So we are going to join the motorway which was originally fashioned like the Autobahn in Germany. Those of you who have oh, traveled yes. to Germany, yes. that was supposed to be. But unfortunately when Kwame Nkrumah opened it to traffic in 1965, the project came to an end when mm. it opened just a few kilometers of it. Because it was supposed to be from the port city of Tema to Accra all the way to uh, Second Day, Takrade, the other port city, and then into Kumasi. But unfortunately, the Golden Triangle could not materialize, and because of that, um, we only have just a few of them, uh, a few kilometers that have been done, and it was opened in 1965. So Kwame Nkrumah did not really enjoy even the motorway. But when comparing construction of roads in Ghana, the motorway is still by far, uh, even though it has deteriorated because of lack of maintenance, by far is the best road uh, in the country. While on the motorway, uh, at both ends, we're going to see residential and also commercial properties like warehouses and others. One of Ghana's Flagstar um, residences, the Trasaco Valley, is here. Uh, Trasaco is a very, very expensive residential area. And uh, that is very for the super rich. Yeah. Well, we are also on the West African Highway, uh, ECOWAS Highway, uh, or also known as Trans ECOWAS Highway, uh, starting from Nigeria through Benin into Togo, Ghana. Ivory Coast and on and on and on it goes. So this we are on the trans, um, 
Takoa's Highway. And uh, from here, from here, it will take you two hours drive. If you have a car like this, it will take you two hours drive to get to the border between Ghana and Togo. And that is a flower. So we are driving <coughs> eastwards. We're driving eastwards. And then when we get to the motorway interchange, we will have you go to the left side it takes you to the Volta region. You go straight, it takes you also to the Volta region and then uh, into Togo and on and on. So we are on the motorway. And at one time it was a toll road? Yes, it's 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 like also yes, one time it also used to be a toll road. All the toll roads are no longer because of the directive from the government or the Ministry of Finance that they should abandon the towing of the roads. Yeah. So no roads in Ghana is told now. And you said they pay for it with tax on cell phones. Uh, I didn't hear that, please. It is paid for with taxes on cell phones. Yes, okay. yes, yes. The maintenance is paid for. Yes, the controversial new tax that have been introduced. And many people are against it, but yeah, the government so see it as Passing out of the news. 